Greetings, true believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends What If Disney Plus Wave Warrior Gamora made by Hasbro. Uh, take a look at the packaging. You can see there's a, just the usual windowless packaging. You can see the image of the figure on the side. You get the image of the watcher, and there's the image of Gamora here. On the side, there's the fake, there's the image of Build the Hydra Stomper, and there's the other characters' names. On the back, there's the image of the figure and the and the Build a Figure piece. So that's about it. Let's take out Gamora out of the package. Here is Gamora out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. Uh, take a look at the head sculpt here. Well, the likeness to Soy Sultana, I would say that they really are not too bad of a job with her head sculpt. Looks pretty good. I mean, well, this is basically the likeness to Soy Sultana looks good. I'm pretty sure the head sculpt is exactly the same head sculpt as the um, previous Gamora figure that Hasbro made, where where he, uh, the, the one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a long time ago. I'm not sure if Hasbro ever did other Gamora figures from the MCU after Guardians Volume 2 version of Gamora. Maybe I, there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. The hair scope on her is pretty brand new. Just a usual match her look from the What If TV series, which she first appeared in Season 1 in the finale. And later on, she got her own episode in se in the second season that was supposed to be, be on season one. But, well, they decided to save it for season two or something like that. And take a look at her outfit here. This is her armor that she... Thanos at the end of that of her own very own episode in season two. Yeah. You can see like there's some shoulder pads and everything. Has a nice metallic gold paint there. Uh, take a look at the hands. You can see one hand is holding on for the blade that she comes with. While the other hand is a, like a relaxed palm hand. Nothing much on the legs there. Sculpted details. That's all. Take a look at the boots. You can see there's like a little heels with like holes there. And on the bottom, there is some um, legalese and two peggles in the bottom of her. Well, there's no legalese, but there's like a serial number right there and two peggles in the bottom of her feet there. But overall, for the figure itself, I'd say this figure looks pretty good. Yeah, that's really, really a, a great job with this figure. The, um, the sculpting on the figure looks good. The likeness looks pretty decent, which I'm not sure the face sculpt looks the same as the, the Volume 2 version of Gamora. But at the end, it's still a really a, a great figure. Articulation, the head doesn't go fully rotate because it's hindered by her hair. Uh, the arms doesn't go fully rotate a little bit because it's hindered by the, the shoulder pad. does go in and out. Upper arm rotation, double jointed elbows. Uh, the wrists do rotate and does have the hinge that so goes side to side. Does the left one has. Yes, same thing. There's the chest rotation there, ball joint there. Legs kick forward, back, in and out. Upper leg rotation. Double jointed. Or is this, no wait, yep, there, she, there it goes. She does have double jointed knees. Ankles, pivot forward, back, and ankle pivot side to side. So that's about it. Just a standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you can still give her some decent amount of pose abilities. For accessory, she does come with Thanos' giant blade, which she uses in the final battle of What Ifs, of the, the season one finale of What If. There we go. Let's put that there. There we go. Let me put like raise her hands just like so Ooh. there we go well it is pre pretty little bit heavier to be honest plus i really wish she had like the hinge that goes up and down on the on her left 
on her right side arm. I mean, her right hand. So I can have, like, the, the blade touch her shoulder. Like, she's carrying like that, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. And finally, she does come with the left arm for the Hydra Stomper. So, yeah. Well, and also the interchangeable fist hand for it as well. But overall, for the figure itself, I think this figure looks pretty good. I gotta admit, it's a really a, a great figure. The the uh, the likeness to Soi Satana looks pretty good. The sculpting wise, it looks really good. Articulation, standard Marvel Legends articulation, but you can still give her some decent amount of pose abilities. And I, at the end of the day, I say this figure is gonna be a definitely a, a must have for your collection. Hell, she's on sale for like. She's on clearance like six, like seven bucks. So yeah, if you find if you find her in the peg warming peg warming in shelves, and she's on sale for seven for seven bucks, yeah, go ahead pick her up. I think this figure looks pretty good. It was retail for twenty five bucks, but yeah, since if you want to be like save your money, so yeah, there's your chance to get this figure at your local Target. For my rate, I'm going to give this figure, I'll give her like a 9 out of 10 for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and threads. Both links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Wave What If Warrior Gamora figure made by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.